Hi everybody, um, my name is Jamie. You probably know me from following me on my blog, and if you don't know me, I'm 26 years old and a full-time graduate student. I'm currently in the process of moving to a whole new city, as well as um, trying to get a career with my undergraduate degree and so on and so forth. Um, I have a fairly busy life. Um, I mean, it hasn't been so busy recently. I am having a pretty bad day today because of what I'm about to talk about. And I decided I wanted to share my story a little bit so that maybe others can kind of get an understanding of like living and dealing with chronic illness and the kind of people that do. Um, I'm going to be pretty self-conscious, I apologize. I look like crap. Um, I'm really puffy because of feeling like crap. Um, it's not a good day and this is kind of my self-medication for the day is by kind of talking about it and releasing my feelings um, about what's going on. Um, my name is Jamie as I've already talked about. Um, I was first diagnosed this past year with endometriosis and adenomyosis as well as um, possibly fibromyalgia. Um, as far as I can know, remember, um, I started having periods when I was like, like 12, 11 or 12 years old. And as far as I can remember, I've always had really terrible periods, like periods to the point of being on the ground, useless. Um, I wouldn't be able to move. The pain would be overwhelming, like to the point of just not being able to do anything, just debilitating periods. Um, I also had a problem with kidney stones in my high school years um, and throughout my high school years up until like some of my college years where I would just randomly create and pass kidney stones. So about a couple years ago I started getting worse pains in my sides and in my abdomen and my doctor Every time I went to a doctor about it, or every time I'd seen another doctor about it, they all just assumed that it was related to my kidney stones. Um, I was passing another kidney stone. I have a kidney infection. I just kind of got wrote off as my kidney disease. Um, so I always treated it like my kidney disease. I always assumed it was. Um, last year, things started getting worse. I started becoming more sick. I started having more painful periods. Um, at one point I was even curled up on the floor sobbing hysterically. My girlfriend didn't know what to do. I remember her just saying, what What can I do? What do you want me to do? What should we do? Um, and then we ended up going to the emergency room, going through all the whole process, doing through testing. And they could never find what was wrong. I wasn't didn't have any kidney stones. So they all all automatically assumed that I was just had a kidney stone that they couldn't detect, um, or passing, or just a really bad kidney infection, um, which always would come up negative on the screening, which was always so confusing to me. Um, finally, after I think the second or third emergency room visit due to such debilitating pain, um, I decided to see a doctor. Now you're probably wondering why I waited until that time to see a doctor. I'm not a doctor person. I don't go to the doctors very often. I kind of avoid it as much as possible. Um, I just don't... I'm a student. I kind of deal with everything I have. I just don't like doctors. I've, I've never really cared for them. Um, not that there's not some great ones out there. I just have never really had great experiences with doctors. Um, and since I always assumed it was my kidneys, I just was like, oh, whatever, I've had this problem for several years now, I can deal with this, I can pass the kidney stone, it sucks, it's painful, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, well, I finally went to go see a doctor, I had the worst OBG visit in my entire life. Um, my poor girlfriend, who is in the gender transition, I shouldn't even say girlfriend, my partner, um, has never been to the OBGYN, something I've been trying to get you know, my partner to do for a really long time, um, was there for, to witness that very callous doctor. He came in, did what he had to do and left. Several nurses came in and out during my time that I was there. It was really embarrassing. 
Um, I was rushed in and out. I cried for the rest of the day. I never thought that I could be treated like so terribly by a doctor. The same doctor was doing my laparoscopic surgery to kind of discover what was going on. So I was really nervous about the surgery. Um, and then I had the surgery in August and praying is weird that you would say this pray that they find something you you don't want to be told that you have a disease you don't want to be told that there's something wrong with you but in the same respect you don't want to keep living your life in chronic pain not knowing what the cause is um i knew i knew in my heart of hearts that it wasn't kidney stones i just feel that the pain related to kidney stones is just different um you know it's just not the same so anyway, um, after surgery, I remember laying in the bed waking up and he said, well, we found something. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that you have en endometriosis and adenomyosis. Um, and for those of you who don't know, um, Google endometriosis. There's quite a bit out there. Um, it's disease common in women, um, well, only in women, where the um, scar tissue that grows inside of your uterus, which is what you later bleed out through your period, grows inside of your, outside of your uterus, um, <clears throat> all around, and sometimes binds the inside of your organs together. Um, mine was pretty extensive, and they removed as much as they could, but unfortunately, with endometriosis, there's no cure, um, so it grows back, essentially, um, and with the adenomyosis, it's the same thing except inside of the uterine wall um, that grows around the uterine wall. So my partner and I decided that what would be best for me was to try this treatment that my doctor at home, my home physician, um, had wanted me to start on, as well as the, sur the physician that had done the surgery. Um, it's called Lupron. Essentially, Lupron is this chemotherapy hormone medication that's supposed to stop your body from producing hormones and basically put women who are not in menopause or even if they are just force them to stop on um, premenopause um, and I was brought aware of some of the side effects that were along with that such as like hot flashes um, mood swings so on and so forth um, <clears throat> But that's all I was really told about it. So I thought that this was a all cure all for me. Um, it was going to take care of my pain, the pain that I was starting to get progressively worse, um, especially after surgery. It was almost daily after surgery. Um, so I started this treatment, and the first couple of days were horrendous. Um, I threw up. I was dizzy. I was nauseous. I was miserable. Um, but I have pretty terrible luck with side effects, and I kind of assumed that I would have bad problems um, with the medication because of my my reaction usually to medication, so that wasn't that big of a deal to me. Um, however, now, two or three months into this medication, um, and with a new doctor, um, I'm finding out that because of this medication I might have um, something called fibromyalgia. Um, which you should also look up, um, that causes my, like, my bones hurt. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, I can't lift my arm without my bones cracking. Um, I can't walk without feeling like it hurts. You know, walking up the stairs is horrendous. Um, I used to be awesome at back rubs. Everybody knew that. Um, my hands don't work for longer than 10 minutes. Um, I'm exhausted all the time, all the time. Um, and that's probably a little bit of a combination of everything else I've got going on along with the fibromyalgia. I think the worst of it is I'm a very smart person. I'm very active in school. Um, I love what I do. Um, and my head, my brain, it's foggy. It doesn't work like it used to. Um, the medicine has literally caused me to change the th way I do things, I'm not the same person anymore. Um, it's been a really big struggle for me because of how misunderstood I am. I look okay. Um, I mean, even my family and friends can know that maybe, you know, I do look a little bit different. I do look more tired. I do look more run down. Um, I'm not able to do things as easily as I used to. 
Um, and that's very apparent for those that are close to me, but for those who aren't, it's just really hard. Um, I got kicked out of my apartment that I was living in where I was going to school because my roommate thought I was making it all up. Um, and there's also a no number of other issues involved with that. Um, but it was just four days after my laparoscopic surgery that basically told me exactly what was wrong with me. Um, I had, you know, documented proof that I had this disease, or two diseases, rather. Um, and I had a doctor, the doctor who prescribed me the Lupron, it gave it to me, basically told me, well, if it's not working for you, then take it or live with the pain. And then he's since quit my doctor's office. So I'm still in the search of another physician or specialist with my disease. It's just an ongoing battle, really. Um, I take everything day by day. Um, there's days that are much better than others. Um, and I know that I think that what I want more than anything with telling my story is that just looking at somebody, you can't decide what's wrong with them or what's going on with them or what may be going through that person, what kind of a day they've had. I can tell you now that my bad days almost outweigh the good days now. Um, that's rough. I don't take any medication for what I'm going through. I deal with it myself. Um, I was prescribed a medication that would take over long term that's supposed to help with fibromyalgia like symptoms but unfortunately it's a very expensive medication and since I will soon be losing my health insurance I just don't want to gain a dependency on a medication that I will no longer be able to pay for um, so there's issues similar to that that I have to go through and I think maybe what I want anyone to take away from my story is that if you think that there's something wrong with you, if you don't feel right, if you're having a rough time, don't just deal with it. I dealt with it for so long. It's rough. Um, get help. Ask somebody. Talk to somebody. See what you can do. Um, look for support. I think that the best thing that I've done, more help than any doctor has given me, is I've reached out to support groups online, in person. Um, I talk to people that have gone through this all already, already know what to expect, already have answers for me, um, because this is still new to me. I still remember last year I was so active in school. I was heavily involved. I was that, the most involved person you can think of. I could walk up and down stairs like you wouldn't believe. It was just awesome for me. My life has changed dramatically. I feel like it's rough. It is. It's a it's a transition. I'm still going through it. I'm still learning how to deal with it. Um, so I guess this is it. It's really long. I thought I was going to try to make this like a five minute video. It's like 13 minutes now. I'm sorry. Um, I hope you're having a good day and happy holidays.